good morning friends welcome to jc e connect today's subject is tqm 17me664 c division module 3.2 myself dr arun k hasmani jain college of engineering belagavi outline of the presentation service of customer elements of customer service service attitude of the employee factors irritating customer translating needs into requirement canon model for customer satisfaction service of the customer service may be defined as any primary or complementary activity that does not directly produce a physical product that is the non goods part of the transaction between customer and the organization so customer service is a set of activities an organization uses to win customer satisfaction and retain them service can be provided before and after sale of the product as per the statistics on an average about 35% of the customers are lost each year and 2/3 of this are lost due to poor customer service it is a very important and serious issue that should be addressed effectively because customer retention is as more important as productivity in manufacturing as quality of manufactured goods are very important to the survival and communication of the business so also the quality of service provided to the customer are much important and should be paid to the service quality and the the very nature of the service implies that it must respond to the needs of the customer that is the service must meet or exceed customer expectations the expectations must be translated into performance standards and specification similar to standards of conformance that direct manufacturing activities and the main elements of the customer service are organization customer care communication frontline people leadership first we will see the organization organization must ensures the same level of quality for all its customer bring out service quality handbook where description of the quality standards become handy employee may be provided with formal training by different method a better physical space must be made for better next we have a customer care customer care should be created wherein the customers are treated as a friend and all other complaints are immediately responded and solution being provided treating customer with respect will forgive error and promote the organization positively employee should please the customer and not bosses employee at the customer care should not be follow mind numbering rules that provide dissatisfaction to the customer next we have communication in organizational level of service quality is dependent on the communication system better the communication system better will be the service quality better the communication system does not mean the quality of communication equipment but how well and fast the organization respond to the customer call customer relations are based on communication the information communicated should be true with the customer there should not be any miscommunication or a communication should be 
Condi Tech Tech. Most of the companies have switched over to automated voice response system and website. That is AVR system though effective it takes a long time to arrive at what consumer wants to communicate. Website provide complete details of the product, usage, emergency contact number. AVR or websites are not consumer friendly. This will create a bad impression in the customer mind. Next we will see the frontline people. In frontline people, customer being the king of business and business of an organization is completely dependent on customer satisfaction. More importance should be given in selecting employee who are well trained to interact with customer to be a frontline people. Interacting with customer is an art and employees with a personality in language communication. Pleasing manner, patients are to be hired with complete knowledge of the product or a service they are providing. There will be lot of variation in customer complaint requirement and hence each customer should be treated individually. Frontline people should be very happy with the organization else their unhappiness will be reflected to the customer. First impression is being the best impression. The quality of the frontline people should be superior in all respects. Frontline people deal with customer every day and they will be knowing better than anybody. Next we have the leadership. Leadership, in leadership we have that is management commitment and involvement is very much necessary for quality improvement. Either it is a product or a service. Managers can show their commitment to the service and the quality through their presence which will boost and encourage the employee morale. The top of the management like president or chief executive officer should spend a recognizable amount of time behind service desk to get first hand information about customer requirement rather than trying to understand sitting in the chamber. We have that is uh, next we have that is service attitude of the employee. Service attitude of the employees in that we have some attitudes that is such attitudes are that is approachable, retaining, positive, maintaining a sense of good humor, making the customer feel they are being given importance. Before that we will see about service attitude that all employee especially in the frontline office have to develop or should have positive service attitude in order to provide effective quality service to the customer. The aim of the customer service personnel is to spend a positive message to the other customer or a further customer with a good attitude and behavior. The message should be with an intention to attract new customer and to retain the existing customer. The message should be focused on addressing the need and helping them in solving their problems. Positive attitude of the customer service personally with an ultimate aim to win the hearts of the customer by providing the effective service. Next we will have factors irritating customer. <laughs> There are 
many small things that irritate customer and even though they are small they should be considered as a major from the organizational point of view and satisfying customer through service quality these are that is first one rude and unpowered service missing deadline more waiting time telephone lines busy unkept promises faculty product difficulty in exchanging products difficulty in getting back their dues unqualified and untrained staff these are the factors irritating the customer and earning a new customer is difficult and for that purposes we have to retain the current customer through quality service which in turn earn new customer quality service is an activity and needs to be controlled and improved translating needs into requirement here we have that is customer needs are varying each customer has its own needs as far as his satisfaction about product or service is concerned so some may be able to express and explain clearly and some may not translating customer needs into requirement is a challenging job and sometime it may be very easy and some time may be difficult and may not be possible to translate at all until and unless a simple procedure is available and the level at which they get satisfied should be known and here we have that is uh, uh, the uh, in the next slide we are going to have the canon model for customer satisfaction uh uh here it comes to rescue and reduce the difficulty of translation the canon model conceptualizes the customer requirement and represent three major areas of customer satisfaction this model classifies product attributes based on how they are pursued by consumer and their effect on a customer satisfaction the model of the product attributes classified into three category that is basic attributes performance attributes and excitement attributes and what actually happen a competitive product meet the basic attribute maximize performance attribute and incorporate as many excitement first you will see the basic attribute this is the most significant area of the customer satisfaction represented by the curved lines into lower part of the horizontal line and the attributes are the basic attributes and and must of a product and do not provide an opportunity for a product differentiation performance attribute the second area of the customer satisfaction represented by the diagonal line represented by this diagonal line represent stated and then understood requirements that is spoken and expected requirement performance attributes are those for which more is generally better and will improve customer satisfaction excitement attribute the third area of the customer satisfaction represent innovation as shown by the curved lines as shown by this curved lines above the horizontal line the attributes are unexpected and 
unspoken and even spoken will be a because they are unexpected these creative ideas often excite and delight the customer these attributes can result in high level of customer satisfaction however their absence does not lead to dissatisfaction providing excitement attributes that address unknown needs can provide a competitive advantage in the market this is about uh, the model of the for customer satisfaction we'll see the customer retention in the next class thank you for watching with patience